Susan Bowles, mother of the Oregon Killer's latest victim. Maybe she knows something about the circumstances surrounding her son's death. Ah, as we're free for the moment, we love her. Good old one here in my pocket, just in case. Hmm. I don't know why, but I got a bad feeling about this. Jeez. Parents today. Going out and leaving a poor little kid like that. Doesn't seem to be anyone. Anybody home? for your mama. Come on, I have to search the house. Maybe it's not too late. Hang on, baby. First, I gotta find mama. I'm gonna call an ambulance. No, I... I don't want to go to the hospital. Please. Okay. You got something around here I can dress this one with? Yeah. I think so. Okay. Don't move. I'll be right back. Mm. Need some bandages and disinfectant. Gotta be here somewhere. Quick, she's losing blood. I gotta hurry.
Let's see. I need this, and this, and this. I'm here for you, Susan. You'll be all right. I'll take care of you. Stay with me, Susan. Susan, do you hear me? Susan, stay with me. Oh, I need more. I'm still bleeding. Not perfect. Take care of the baby. Okay? Do you know what to do? With a baby, I mean. I'm a private eye. There's nothing I can't do. <laughs> Her name is Emily. Gotcha. I was a private eye when I walked in here. And now I'm a babysitter. <laughs> Go figure. Mommy will live for now. Let's see how Junior's doing. Problem, huh? Oh! Going by the smell? I got a pretty good idea. Okay. How do you do this again? Fresh new baby. That should feel good. Right, Emily? Hey, what's the matter? I thought we solved the problem. Why is she crying? I'll ask Susan. She'll know what to do. Of course. Now I know why you're crying, my little peachy poo. Mother Shelby to the rescue. Why is she crying? I'll ask Susan. She'll know what to do. Uh, Susan, uh, I changed her diaper, but she's still crying. She's hungry. There's a bottle in, in the kitchen. Gotcha. Baby's bottle. Susan said it was in the kitchen. I guess I better warm this thing up.
Oh, Emily, are you hungry? Huh? You hold on. I'll just tilt this bottle a little bit so you don't choke. Oh, good job, Emily. Hmm? You're feeling good now, right? <laughs> now, I'm going to rock you very gently so you can have a nice little snooze. Oh, sorry, kid. You're not done rocking, right? Hmm. Right, that's about the limit of my maternal powers. Poor kid. Life ain't gonna be easy for her. Thanks for looking after my baby. I didn't want to leave her. I just couldn't cope anymore. Having Jeremy around. He was such a good boy. I can't understand why anyone would want to hurt him. Do you take care of this baby on your own? Doesn't Jeremy's father live with you anymore? He disappeared. The day after Jeremy. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe, maybe he couldn't take it. Ever since I've had to look after Emily all on my own and I couldn't do it anymore. I understand. Did your husband say anything before he disappeared? Did he leave a note or something? the house without a word and there was just the cell phone a cell phone yeah I, I found a cell phone in his dresser I'm sure it wasn't his I'd never seen it before I tried to turn it on but it didn't work do you still have it yeah it's uh, it's in a drawer in the living room you can have it if you like. I'm sure it's of more use to you than to me. Do you have any family or anybody to help you? Yeah. My mother. I didn't want to ask her for anything. We don't really get along. But I guess I'm out of options. Well, look after yourself. And Emma. I will. I promise. In a drawer in the living room. That's what Susan said.
Good luck, Emily. You take care of your mama. stop thinking about that well. Sean seemed exhausted. But at least he's alive. I'll do anything to get him out of there. The parking lot ticket in the origami figure leads to this garage. What am I going to find here? Excuse me? Hey! Oh, huh. Sorry. Didn't see you. Uh, what can I do you for? I'd like to get my car. Hey, you're a pretty patient guy, you are. That car's been there for two years. We well, took it out for a drive every month and checked the tires and batteries, just like you said. Here, it's the third floor down. The service elevator is at the far end of the garage. Thanks. Now, you have yourself a good one, Chief. Have I been here before? Don't remember it. A car? Why am I being sent to look for a car? Car's been here for two years. What does that mean? Dozens of cars, but which one am I looking for?
Your destination is four miles from here. Leave the parking lot and take the first right. If I succeed, I'll get more letters for the hangar. It's my only lead. No turning back now. I can't stop my hands shaking. I'm not going to make it. I'm... I'm not going to make it! I don't want to die. Not here. Not like this. I can do it. I'd do anything to save my son. A lot of good it'll do Sean if I kill myself on this highway. Go the wrong way on the highway for five miles? Am I willing to take that risk in order to save my son? It's sheer madness. I'd kill a bunch of innocent people. What gives me the right to play God, even to save my son? I've got to do it, for Sean's sake. I have no choice.
glove compartment. The key is inside the GPS. Your reward is in the glove compartment. The key is inside the GPS. Your reward is in the glove compartment. The key. I'm alive. Ah, that hurts. Bad taste of blood in my mouth. I made it. Now, now my reward. The letters, the address. The car could blow up at any second. Get out, fast! 